Hey guys, you want to play some more hardcore? Yeah, Donald, a new day, a new realm. Yeah, Obama, it feels like we're having to make a new realm almost every episode. Well, if you would stop doing something really stupid every time, then we could maybe keep a realm for longer, Joe. Hey, shut up, Donald. I seem to remember you being the one that pushed me off of the ledge last time. And just like I had predicted, you were the one to lose first. Hey, Donald, that was not my fault. Yes, it was, Joe. If you just got good, then you could have survived. It is not my fault that you pushed me off of the ledge, Donald. That one was your fault. No way, Joe. You just should have saved yourself. You know what? How about we let the viewers decide? If you think that me losing in the last realm was Donald's fault, then hit that like button and subscribe. Fine, Joe. But I will only admit that it was my fault if this video can get all of the way to 10,000 likes. Okay, guys. Make sure to hit that like button now then so that we can prove Donald wrong. Whatever, Joe. Are you ready to play some hardcore already? Yeah, Donald. I am hopping on now. Oh boy, oh boy. I am so excited to be starting another world again. Yeah, Joe, me too. Just try not to die again and mess everything up. Do not worry, Barack. You do not have to worry about me this time around. If I get in trouble, I will simply use my Biden blast to assure my safety. Joe, if you could have saved yourself with your Biden blast this whole time, then why did you not do it yesterday? I did not use my Biden blast yesterday because I was caught off guard by Donald's betrayal. Shut up, Joe. Until I see that this video has hit that 10,000 like mark, I will not tolerate any talk that implies I had anything to do with you being an idiot last episode. Whatever you say, Donald. Once this video hits 10,000 likes, though, you are going to have to eat those words. Oh, hey, guys, check it out. I've just found this awesome looking cave. Oh, cool. Can you see any resources from the top? Nah, I'm going to go explore and I might come back for this later. This might be a hot take, guys. But I think that I preferred the old caves to the new ones. What? No way, Joe. The new caves are so much cooler. I do not know, Donald. I think I prefer the old, more simple style of caves more than the new ones. Actually, how? How could you not like the new caves? They are not only absolutely gorgeous to look at, but they are so much more fun to explore. The new caves are scary, Donald. They are so dangerous. I miss the old style of caves where it was easy fun. I could spend hours down there just exploring every little tunnel. But the new difficulty is part of the fun, Joe. Mining is now a challenge to overcome rather than a chore to sit through. I just do not see it that way, Obama. I think that the old style of caves is relaxing. Well, you are wrong, Joe. The new caves are infinitely better. Oh, come on, Donald. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. Ding dong, your opinion is wrong. Oh, shut up, Donald. You are acting like a child. That is pretty rich coming from the guy who eats two liters of ice cream every day and pretends that he has superpowers. I do not pretend that I have superpowers, Donald. My Biden blast is very real, and if not properly controlled, can be the cause of a world-ending event. Joe, the only thing that you can make end is my suffering by finally shutting the fuck up. I will not, Donald. In fact, last time I checked, a president needed to be able to speak. And since you are no longer the president, it will be you who should shut the fuck up. Hey, fuck you, Joe. When I am reelected next year, I am so going to rub it in your face. Donald, you will be lucky to even still be out of jail by the time the next election rolls around, let alone actually winning the darn thing. Joe, that court case is not going to be going anywhere. I will simply pay off a judge or two, and I will be a man as free as our founding fathers intended. Just you watch, Joe. Trump 2024 will make this next election one of the greatest elections ever. No way, Donald. I am so going to beat you in the next election, just like I did the last one. Fuck you, Joe. That election was rigged. I cannot wait to finally get another shot at beating you. This time, you will not be able to rig the election against me either. Jesus Christ, Donald, when are you going to accept that you lost the election fair and square? Never, Joe, because I know that the election was rigged. And once I have beaten you in the next year's election, and I can finally prove that the election was rigged, I am going to shout it from the rooftops that I did not lose and that you are a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. I am so not, Donald. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Shut the fuck up, Donald. I am so not. Jesus Christ, you two are like actual children. That is funny because your mother said that I was plenty enough man for her last night. Ooh, snap. Fuck you, Donald. There is no way anyone could see you as anything even close to a man with all of that spray tan you have on. You look more like an Oompa Loompa than an actual human, let alone a man. Ah, uh, did I hurt your little libtard feelings there, Barack? 
Do you need your mother to come and give you a goodnight kiss after I've given her a little more than that? Donald, I swear to fucking God, if you speak another goddamn word, I'm going to drone strike you and everyone you have ever loved into oblivion. Damn, Barack, you would drone strike your own mother? That is cold, man. Donald, I swear to fucking God, if you do not take that back this instant, then I'm going to take your orange ass, turn you into fertilizer, and use you to grow a whole ass farm of oranges so that once you are gone, there can be something actually useful in your place. Jesus, Barack really is not pulling any of his punches today. Okay, okay, fine. I am sorry, Barack. There you are, Donald. Was it really all that hard? Oh, I can guarantee you that is eating him up from the inside right now. Shut the fuck up, Joe. There is probably some random disease that is eating you up from the inside right as we speak. You old fart. Nuh-uh, Donald. My Biden blast can protect me from all forms of illness. There is no simple disease out there that can go toe-to-toe with the raw, overwhelming power of the Biden blast. Joe, the day you stop pretending that you have superpowers might just be the day that you actually become useful as a president. Donald, I have been a far better president than you. Last time I checked, I have not yet been impeached, so I'm already leaps and bounds ahead of your orange ass. Joe, you are not, and you will never be a better president than me. I was the best president that this country has ever seen. They will write me down in the history books as the best thing that has ever happened to this country. Just you watch. Donald, the only thing that your presidency will be in the history books for will be for being the only president to be impeached twice. No way, Joe. You will see. My presidency will be adored for the rest of time. And when I am brought back into office next year, we will see people singing in the streets from the pure joy of having me back in my rightful place as the leader of this country. I can guarantee you, Donald, no one will be dancing for you. People dance for me all of the time, Joe. Donald, how many times do I have to tell you? The people on the side of the road in skimpy clothing that dance for you and then ask for money are not doing it because they like your political campaign. What do you mean? Of course they do. They even call me Mr. President as they do it. Oh my God, Donald. Donald, you are like an actual child. Oh, do not start this one again, Joe. I refuse to be called a child by a man who takes three naps every day while also eating half of his weight in ice cream. Oh, whatever, Donald. Where are you anyway? I see you, Joe. I'm just making my way over to you now. Oh, hey, Donald, there you are. Barack, are you going to be coming to meet up with us as well? Yeah, guys. I am close by. I am right by that cool cave that I had seen earlier. I am making my way over to you guys right now. Okay, then. Well, while you are coming over here, I'm going to try and find more food for us. Oh, man, it is starting to get dark. Guys, I can't run. I don't have any hunger, and all I have is raw meat. Just eat the raw meat. No, don't eat the raw meat, you fucking idiot, Biden. You'll gain more bars of hunger if you cook it, Obama. But I can't run, Donald. It's going to be so long till I'm with you guys. Don't worry, I'm gathering loads of food. You'll be fine when you get here. What if I'm attacked by fucking mobs? I expected this scaredy cat shit from Joe, not from you, Obama. I'm not a scaredy cat. How are you not a scaredy cat, Joe? Explain to me. I won the fucking election, bitch. I became the president of the United fucking States. Yeah, but that election was fucking rigged and you fucking know it. It was never rigged, Donald. Shut the fuck up, man. Oh, it 100% was. Oi, Donald, what's your chords? I'm at X60Y70Z227. OMG, I'm so fucking far away. This is going to take so fucking long. Shut up and then stop whining, man. I'm not whining. I'm just stating that I don't have food. That sounds like whining to me, you bitch. Don't worry. You can have some food when you get here, Obama. Thank you, Joe. I really appreciate that. Okay, but while we're talking about fucking food, what is your go-to favorite meal? I quite like a peanut and jelly sandwich with a protein bar. Biden, you're the fucking president of the fucking United States. You do not need to be eating fucking peanut and jelly sandwiches, you fucking dumbass. Yeah, but I quite like a peanut and jelly sandwich, mainly when my crust is cut off for me. Oi, Biden, turn the fuck around. Oh, yeah, you wanted your food, didn't you? Give me the fucking food. Jesus, someone sounds hungry. You're not you when you're hungry. Have a steak. Finally fucking meat to fill my hunger bar up. Biden, did you say earlier that you get the crust cut off for you? Yeah, because I find the crust chewy. That is so fucking weird. You are a fucking weirdo. You do know that, right? Hey, man, I just don't like crust. Leave me alone. What's your favorite fucking food, Donald? When I was at the White House and could splash my cash everywhere, I was having lobster with bottles of wine and buckets of ice at least four times a week. Holy shit, Donald, that's so fucking much money wasted. Yeah, but it was all for me, so it wasn't wasted, you dumbass. 
Yeah, but think of how many people you could have helped if you weren't having lobster so many times a fucking week. Bro, one of the best parts of living in a huge white mansion and having a fuck ton of money is getting to have lobster steak and exclusively freshly hunted meat. If you're not playing golf on a private lawn, then what's the point of being a president? Maybe helping the country, Donald, something you fucking never did. I made America fucking great again, you bitch. I made it greater than it ever will be. It's just a downhill slope for our citizens from here on. Just like your life, Donald. The fuck do you mean, Sleepy Joe? I mean, you're gaming in a non-mansion, playing Minecraft every day, probably eating baked beans on toast. Biden, are you dissing on baked beans on toast, G? No, I love baked beans on toast. Also, Biden, the fuck do you mean gaming every day? I don't game every fucking day. To be fair, Donald, you are the one who normally asks us to game. I know you don't have friends, so that's why I game with you. I have friends? Who are they, Donald? Well, you guys don't know them. Their names you won't know, so I can't say. And, like, I can't say their names while we are recording for privacy reasons. Being a president, I have to keep a lot of shit private, obviously. Donald, that is the most bullshit I've heard come out of your mouth. And I've heard a lot of bullshit come out of your fucking mouth. Oh, really? What's the most bullshit you've heard come out of my mouth? That you'll make America great again. Fuck you. I made America the greatest it ever has been and ever will fucking be. No president will ever be comparable to what I was. I was a God-tier president, and no one can take that away from me. Ah, fuck, it's the Filza killer. Kill it. Don't let it kill us. That's the plan, shit brain. It's so small, cute, and sexy. Shame we have to kill it. Right, okay, now it's fucking dead. We can sleep. And Joe, don't ever call a baby zombie cute ever a fucking gain. What can I craft with all this junk? A fucking leather helmet. Guys, do I look fucking sexy? I can't fucking say that you look sexy, Sleepy Joe. You look as old as my fucking grandmother. God rest her soul. And I think you look like a shriveled up tortoise. How resistant to damage is your hat, Joe? Fuck off, Donald. I mean, to be fair, that did no damage at all, but still fuck off. Come here, Sleepy Joe. Come back here. You're fucking fast for an old turtle. Fuck you. For a turtle, I'm a much better runner than you. Hmm, I'll take your food as payment for me not hitting you. Also, what do you mean you're a better runner? I kept keeping up with you in that chase. I meant I ran better for being the better president, bitch. Oh, fuck you, you fucking saggy old turtle and die of old age or hit by a fucking bus. Donald, in case you forgot who beat you in the fucking election, I'm the fucking president. I don't spend any time around fucking buses. You only beat me because you fucking rigged it with Russia aliens and fucking Twitter owners. That's why I was banned. I bet you still have a fucking agreement with Elon Musk and Elon's trying to get me back on Twitter, but it's a whole setup by you to get me to tweet where it's a trap. Donald, what the fuck, man? I bet you're on in it too, Obama. I bet you started the fucking BLM movement to try and make more mess for me to clean up as president. Donald, what the fuck are you on about, man? Have you fucking lost a screw? No, I'm just thinking about you all being against me. Because I'm fucking God. And you all need to try and take me down because no one will ever be this fucking awesome. Donald, have you been listening to fucking Andrew Tate again? Andrew Tate is the top fucking G. He is a fucking God. Donald fucking Trump, stop fucking listening to that womanizer. I'll fucking watch and listen to whoever the fuck I want to, bitch. Donald, some of his views are kind of fucked, but deep down he's got some good points. Like, just don't get advice from him. He worked with me when we were writing for speeches. He's the one who suggested the grab him by the no-no area speech and injecting bleach into you speech. He was my secret right-hand man. If I got married again, I would have him as my best man to make a fucking killer speech that motivated everyone to boogie on the dance floor. Donald, what the fuck is wrong with you? That man is a fucking creepy guy. Worse than Biden 100 times. And I fucking hate him as a human being. If you can even call him that. Obama, shut the fuck up, man. He is a fucking amazing person. The fucking media is shit. And they've just put Tate in a really bad view. You always blame the fucking media for this, for that, for anything wrong in your life. You blame the fucking media. Maybe grow a pair and see that you give the fucking media shit to write about due to your shitty actions. What the fuck are you on about, Sleepy Joe? He's saying about how you blame everything for everyone else, when in reality, maybe you should take a look at yourself. Do you know? People have told me to take a long, hard look at myself in the past, and it hurts. And it makes me sad. But then I look at myself, and remember, I'm a fucking god. And that I am the sexiest, hottest, most powerful man a fucking live. Jesus, Donald, there's no fucking helping you. You just come over here and start taking our fucking meat. We're cooking. You fucking take Biden's meat after punching and bullying him earlier. All we ever fucking do is get bullied by you. 
What do we get out of playing with you, Donald? You guys get a shit ton of money because I bring the fucking humor to these fucking videos. You know what, Donald? Fuck you. Me and Joe can be funny. We're going to make the rest of this fucking video without you. Fuck you. Good luck making content as good. I'm fucking funniest, smartest, best fucking person you will ever meet. Okay, that clown's fucking gone. Thank fuck I was getting tired of him talking about Andrew Tate. Yeah, no, that was starting to get annoying. Also, what the fuck does he mean we can't be funny? We can be funny. Yeah, we can be so funny. For instance, did I tell you about the time I slipped and hit my head? No. Well, I slipped and hit my head. And? And what? I don't know, just thought there would be more to that story. Make it, like, funny. Fuck, maybe we do need Donald? Maybe we do. I don't know, I'm pissed off at him, but I, I'm not in the mood for making content right now. He's put me in such a pissed place, not gonna lie. Oh, look who it fucking is calling. Wow, they couldn't last two fucking minutes. What's up, fucking bozos? Did you fucking miss me? I'm sorry, Donald. Trying to be funny is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Fucking apologize more, you little bitch. I'm so, so sorry, Donald. I'm really sorry. I thought it would be fine and easy, but it wasn't. And you make this channel great. Say I made America great? I don't know if I can go that far, Donald. Fucking say it, Sleepy Joe, or I'll leave. You made America great? More enthusiasm, bitch. You made America fucking great, sir. That's fucking better. Now I'm happy I'm probably going to log off for the night. Have a good night, boys. Yeah, I was about to do the same. Have a good night, Biden, Donald. Good night, guys. Sleep well. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up.